transmission oil, brake fluid, and fuel level. Check the condition of any batteries, that they are clean and the water level is topped off. If the truck is fitted with LPG, check it is mounted securely. All connections are tight, that there are no leaks, the cylinder is not out of date, and that the forklift is fitted with an LPG compliance data plate. If the machine is diesel, check the air filter indicator. Visually ensure lift and tilt systems, mast assembly, load guards, and any attachments are not damaged. Are the fork arms damaged? Are they evenly spaced with no cracks or excessive wear? Are the pins or locking devices secured? Check the overhead guard is not damaged. Check all tires for damage and wear. Check the tire condition, wheel nuts, and pressure for each tire. Check the load rating capacity and ensure the capacity plate is fitted, legible, and correct. Make sure the seat and the seat belt are in good condition. Adjust the mirrors and clean them when required. A few simple pre-start checks can save a life or a limb. Adjust the seat for your body and fasten the seat belt. Follow the correct startup procedures and check lights, warning devices, and gauges are working. Check that operation of controls results in smooth and correct operation of selected functions. All functions must be tested to the full extent of their movement. Check braking and steering system while moving. Always check for clearance and pedestrians before moving. Report any defects to a supervisor and use a danger isolation tag if the forklift is unsafe. Only make minor repairs if you are qualified and authorized.
Always take the time to look in the direction you are going to travel before moving the forklift. Use the horn to notify pedestrians and the traffic that you are turning a corner or before traveling in reverse. Use indicators and warning lights at all times. Pedestrian pathways and barriers are there to help prevent collisions and accidents. Always keep the forklift in the designated traffic zones and follow the specified routes. Passengers must never be carried on the forklift. Accidents also occur from collisions between forklifts and other mobile plants. Never tailgate another vehicle. Keep at least three vehicle lengths behind traffic in front of you. Do not pass other vehicles traveling in the same direction at intersections, blind spots, or other dangerous locations. Do not leave the forklift when it is running. Set the handbrake and turn the <coughs> Never leave keys unattended in a forklift. Unauthorized people can attempt to drive it and cause an accident. Forklift keys should be signed in and out when collecting and returning them. If a fault occurs during operation of the forklift, stop the truck immediately. Lower the fork to the ground if possible. Immobilize the truck and report the problem. If the fault happens to be a fuel leak such as LPG, isolate or turn off the fuel if it is safe to do so.
Always assess a load before you pick it up. Check that the dimensions and weight of the load fall within the capacity rating of the forklift at the highest elevation and load center. The load should be secured by using a pallet, shrink wrapping, or by use of an appropriate attachment. Check pallets are in good condition. If not, remove damaged pallets from service. Never travel with an unstable load. A load spreader or forklift with a larger capacity could be used. If unsure, or if you find a hazard, always inform your supervisor. When you pick up the load, move squarely into position in front of the load. Before you approach the pallet, bring the mast to vertical to make entry easier. Raise the forks to the required level. Make sure the forks are spread a wide and even distance apart to keep the load balanced. As you enter the load, make adjustments to the fork height to avoid scraping the pallet. Load should always be against the heel of the forks. Lift the load vertically off racking or objects and ensure there is sufficient clearance above the load. Before reversing, look over both shoulders to check there are no pedestrians behind you. Reverse backwards, clear of racking, and then tilt the mass backwards slightly to stabilize the load. Lower the load and further adjust back tilt for stability. Fork arms should be below axle level when traveling, but high enough to clear any unevenness in the floor. Before backing up, check behind on both sides for pedestrians or other traffic. Avoid banging the fork arms onto the floor or dragging the forks on the ground. Never turn or travel until the load is lowered to the ground level. Using back tilt when lifting a load out of racking can result in the load being caught on the rack above. Always ensure you have sufficient clearance. Your view from a forklift is often blocked by the load. If you can't see over the load, drive in reverse. You may need someone to guide you. Raising the load to see under it is not a safe practice. The forklift could tip forward and it limits braking due to the propensity to overturn. Be aware of blind spots created by the mast the lift cylinder, or other parts of the forklift. Even small parts of the forklift may block out large areas of the workplace. Do not reverse up an incline. If you drive a forklift on an incline, you must keep the load on the uphill side. If you can't see over the load, get someone to direct you. Check the destination before you place the load. Is the destination flat and stable, or will the load rock, tilt, or lean? When placing a load, do not lift a load that extends above the load backrest unless the load is secured. Never place heavy loads on top of light loads. Ensure other pallets in the stack are capable of supporting the load and observe maximum stacking quantities. Do you know the load bearing capacity of your rack or storage loft destination? If rack legs or support members are bent or disconnected, report it immediately to your supervisor. Never walk, stand, or allow anyone to pass under a raised load. When you place the load at its destination, move squarely into position in front of the rack or stack where the load will be placed. Do not raise the load until it right angles to the rack or stack. <coughs> Tilt the mass to level and then move forward over the
the spot where the load will be placed. Lower the forks and visually verify that the load is stable. Before backing up, check behind on both sides for pedestrians and other traffic. Lower the forks to the travel position, just above ground level. <coughs> Again, check behind and on both sides for pedestrians or other traffic <gasps> before traveling. Forklifts are often driven into trucks or trailers over a dock board, also known as a bridge plate at loading docks. If the truck or trailer is not secured to the dock or otherwise chopped, it can move over time. The dock board can then fall between the trailer and the dock as the forklift crosses it. A portable dock board must be secured in place to prevent it from moving. Always keep a safe distance from the edges of a loading dock or a ramp 